Hola, espero que estés del mejor. El día de hoy vamos a aprender 15 frases muy útiles en inglés. Son frases que podemos encontrar por la calle, en películas, series o canciones. Y lo mejor es que las aprenderemos de una forma dinámica y divertida. Al finalizar, no olvides comentar cuál fue tu favorita. Sin nada más que decir, ahora sí, comencemos con la clase. Nuestra primera frase es... Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do, Eddie. Don't mind if I do. Esta frase significa si no te importa. Y normalmente lo usamos cuando queremos hacer alguna acción sin que alguien se incomode o se moleste. Don't mind if I do. I don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do, Eddie. Nuestra segunda frase es... That does it. Yes, that does it. That does it. That does it. Frank. That does it. Yes. Oh, that's it. That does it. That does it. Esta frase significa eso es todo y normalmente lo usamos cuando terminamos una discusión o conversación. Yes, that does it. That does it. That does it. Frank. That does it. Yes. Oh, that's it. That does it. Nuestra tercera frase es enough is enough. Enough is enough. No. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Listen. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Esta frase significa ya es suficiente y comúnmente lo usamos cuando es momento de parar de hacer algo. Enough is enough. No. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Listen. Enough is enough. Nuestra cuarta frase es I'm dying to know. I'm dying to know. I'm dying to know. I'm dying to know. You really want to know? I'm dying to know. Well, please tell me I'm dying to know. Oh. I'm dying to know. Esta frase significa me muero por saber y normalmente lo usamos cuando estamos muy emocionados por algo. I'm dying to know. I'm dying to know. I'm dying to know. You really want to know? I'm dying to know. Well, please tell me I'm dying to know. Oh. Nuestra quinta frase es that's lame. Uh, that, that, that lame. That's lame. No, no, that's maybe that's lame. No, of course. That's lame. That's lame. Emails, guys, really? That's lame. That's lame. Esta frase significa eso es patético y normalmente lo usamos cuando despreciamos algo, ya sea porque no es útil o simplemente no tiene sentido. Nuestra sexta frase es I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. Cat, I'm gonna be fine. I'm, I'm gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine, okay? No, no, I'm fine. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. Esta frase significa estaré bien y comúnmente lo usamos cuando sucede algo malo. Pero es una forma de decirle a la otra persona que no se preocupe, que todo estará bien. I'm gonna be fine. Cat, I'm gonna be fine. I'm, I'm gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine, okay? No, no, I'm fine. I'm gonna be fine. Nuestra séptima frase es Star Fresh. Let's start fresh. Let's. She said we could start fresh. So let's start fresh. Start fresh. A new home can be an opportunity to start fresh. Start fresh. Esta frase significa empezar de nuevo. Y normalmente lo usamos cuando damos otra oportunidad de comenzar desde cero algo en especial. Let's start fresh. Let's. She said we could start fresh. So let's start fresh. Start fresh. A new home can be an opportunity to start fresh. Nuestra octava frase es. You know the drill. You know the drill. You know the drill. Okay, everybody, you know the drill. You know the drill. Okay, you know the drill. You know the drill. Esta frase significa ya sabes qué hacer. Y comúnmente lo usamos cuando una persona conoce el plan o las instrucciones de lo que va a hacer. You know the drill. You know the drill. Okay, everybody, you know the drill. You know the drill. Okay, you know the drill. Nuestra novena frase es... Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Sorry. Did you get it? Did you get it? I don't know. Did you get it? Esta frase significa lo entendiste y comúnmente lo usamos cuando le preguntamos a alguien si captó la idea de lo que dijimos o explicamos. Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Sorry. Did you get it? Did you get it? I don't know. Nuestra décima frase es Such is life. 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 Nothing either of us can do on this one. Such is life. Such is life. Esta frase significa así es la vida. Y normalmente lo usamos cuando pasa alguna situación en la que normalmente las cosas suelen suceder de esa manera o modo. 
Such is life. Such is life. Such is life. Such is life. Nothing either of us can do on this one. Such is life. Nuestra frase número once es: Keep me posted. Okay, copy that. Keep me posted. And keep me posted. Good luck and keep me posted. Well, keep me posted. It worked, team. Keep me posted. Keep me posted. Esta frase significa mantenerme informado y comúnmente lo usamos cuando le pedimos a alguien que nos diga lo que sucede o pasa. Okay, copy that. Keep me posted. And keep me posted. Good luck and keep me posted. Well, keep me posted. It worked, team. Keep me posted. Nuestra frase número 12 es Don't sweat it. Hey, don't sweat it, compadre. Don't sweat it, Pip. Yeah, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it, sweetie. I won't tell. Don't sweat it, bro. I'll leave it alone. Don't sweat it. Esta frase significa no te preocupes y comúnmente lo usamos cuando no queremos que la persona con la que estamos hablando se angustie o se inquiete por nosotros. Hey, don't sweat it, compadre. Don't sweat it, Pip. Yeah, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it, sweetie. I won't tell. Don't sweat it, bro. I'll leave it alone. Nuestra frase número 13 es get cracking. Okay, let's get cracking. You better get cracking. Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking, boys. Oh, well. You better get cracking. Get cracking. Esta frase significa manos a la obra. Y comúnmente lo usamos cuando le decimos a alguien que es momento de empezar a trabajar o actuar de inmediato. Okay, let's get cracking. You better get cracking. Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking, boys. Oh, well. You better get cracking. Nuestra frase número 14 es. It's no biggie. No, it's no biggie. You're gonna drive them. It's no biggie. It's no biggie. No, it's no biggie. Nah, nah, it's cool, it's no biggie. It's no biggie. Esta frase significa no es la gran cosa. Y comúnmente lo usamos cuando decimos que algo no es tan impresionante o relevante. No, it's no biggie. You're gonna drive them. It's no biggie. It's no biggie. Guys, it's no biggie. It's... Nah, nah, it's cool, it's no biggie. Nuestra frase en Wikipedia es Have a good one. Have a good one. All right. Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a good one. No. Okay. Have a good one. Esta frase significa que la pases bien, y normalmente lo usamos cuando le decíamos a alguien que se divierta o disfrute de un momento o algo en especial. Como puedes ver, todas estas frases son geniales para comunicarse en inglés. No olvides escribir en la cajita de comentarios cuál fue tu frase favorita. Al final de este video te estaré dejando otra clase como esta con muchas expresiones útiles para mejorar tu inglés. Sin nada más que decir, muchas gracias por ver y que tengas un excelente día.